Hello my dear friends, I'm Paul Oscar Mike Zito Echo Tango. In many of my videos you had seen this Guangsheng UVK5 transceiver which I modified to be able to receive an HF bands. So after the hardware modification you can get the full band HF receiver as well as the VHF and UHF transceiver and airband receiver. Well, in today's video, I would like to introduce you a little bit into a firmware, which is the software modification of the radio. So if you wish to uh, listen to the HF radio on the Kuangsheng UVK5, you have to do a hardware modification to add the extra receiver chip into the radio. And the second thing is to update the firmware for the CEC 050 or 051 and in today's video I would like to show you how to use the Guangsheng radio after the modification so let's go so when you turn on the radio you can see the CEC051 firmware over here and the main difference between 050 and 051 is the refresh rate of the S meter in the radio. Actually this uh, firmware is divided to two modes. The first one is the basic mode with the VHF and UHF uh, band receiver and transceiver. After the modification you are able to work normally on VHF UHF band as usual. So you do not lose any functions or features after this modification. So you can normally uh, program your radio with memories or you can use it also in VFO mode. And a second mode is the HF band receiver or the full band HF receiver and if you wish to enter into this mode you have to press the FM button over here or the zero button so push and hold it and you see that you will enter into a HF mode in this HF mode you are able to receive the signals from uh, 100 or 150 kilohertz up to 30 megahertz so you can get full band HF receiver which is able to demodulate AM bands or AM modulation SSB modulation divided uh, to the upper sideband and the lower sideband and also the CW you are able to receive the FM band broadcast stations so you definitely don't losing anything from its uh, original features after this modification. So now if you are in the HF mode, you shortly push the uh, zero button and as you can see, you enter into these band stacks. This is really nice feature. Everything is pre-selected here or pre-stored and uh, here on this screen on the left side you can see the numbers one two seven and here are the band stacks so as you can see the lower frequencies is over here and again if you push this zero button you can go to the page two and there are 40 35 30 25 and so on and again if you push the zero button this is the page number three and this is the upper bands like 17 up to 10 meters. So if you switch to one of those uh, bands, let me switch it to uh, seven, for example. So you need to push this number on the keyboard. You will enter into this band. I'm currently on 29000. And if you wish to tune the radio, of course, you need to use this arrows but if you wish to enter the frequency for example 28500 
push the 7 button, for example, 28500. So, if you are on 10 meter, you can receive the signals. Also, it is very important to select the uh, sideband in SSB modulation. Um, the modulation is switched uh, by the F button over here. So, short press of the F button, you will change the modulation. This is the lower sideband, upper sideband and CW. So, if you wish to go to the FM band radio, long press of the F button, you will go to the FM band receiver. Again, long press of the F button, you will return back to the single sideband. If you like to listen to the AM band on short wave or middle wave, long wave, go to the band stack and see some of the broad bands over here. So let's go to, for example, go to the second page. Uh, this broad means these are AM bands. So let's go to uh, 4. It's 25 meters. So push the 4 and you see that you're automatically switched to the AM mode. So you can just erect the antenna and you should be able to receive some of the stations over here. But the other thing is that the step is not correct, uh, correctly set and that's the uh, other feature we like to explain. So the step button is over here or the step mode is over here, the setting. And you see the whole line over here underneath the uh, S meter. You can see the band, step button, low noise amplifier, bandwidth and uh, balance oscillator or balance frequency oscillator. And down there, the second line over here is the information what you have selected from this upper line. So if you wish to select some of them, you are using the M button over here. So you're on step, low noise amplifier, bandwidth and BFO. And again, and as you see underneath, you can see the, the uh, step value, which is set to one kilohertz right now. So if you wish to change this step setting, you need to use those two buttons on the side. So over here is the five kilohertz, 10 kilohertz, 50 kilohertz, 100 kilohertz and 500 kilohertz. Even one megahertz you can tune. And the minimum is one kilohertz. And this is the thing what I am uh, criticizing because this is not enough. Of course, if you are listening to the single sideband, you should be able to go to even 100 hertz. This feature is unfortunately missing in this receiver. You have to use the BFO on the side for a final tuning. So. I am in the AM mode, I am uh, listening to the AM station, so I have to select 5 kilohertz step. So now the radio is tuning by 5 kilohertz, as you can see. Alright, so the other thing is the low noise amplifier. Um, unfortunately, this is not working like a Amplifier. This is mainly the attenuator on this radio, but the attenuator is somehow not working. You can hear just a very faint signal in the background and when I change the attenuation
Okay, there is no difference. So, I will say that this feature, the LNA, is not working in this firmware, or maybe an issue is a hardware, I don't know. The next is the bandwidth. This is a very good feature, especially when you have a noisy band. This is 3 kilohertz with and this is 4 kilohertz and this is 0 0.5 kilohertz 1 kilohertz 1.2 2 2.2 .2, 3 kilohertz and 5 4 kilohertz so the bandwidth is really good feature and the final feature in here in this firmware is the BFO. The BFO is the balanced uh, frequency oscillator, so it makes a little difference in reception of the signal. And you need to use also the side buttons. Let me show you. You can see that audio is deep. That's because that's because the frequency has shifted a little bit to the side, especially exactly 150 hertz into the side. So this is how the BFO on this radio works. And now it is back on zero. All right, so very good thing is also that you can demodulate all those demodulations like AM, SSB and CW on all frequencies. So you can go, for example, to the long waves um, number one so you're on long waves and you can see that you can use the lower sideband on the long waves or you can go to the upper sideband or CW long press of the F button you enter into AM modulation and also short press, if you are in AM modulation, short press, you will enter into the FM radio. Alright, so short press, you enter into the short wave band AM modulation. Long press, you will enter into the single sideband demodulation or upper sideband short press the lower sideband or CW. Over here in this upper line you can see the band on which band is this radio currently uh, select or selected and the upper information bar you can see there is a step 1 kilohertz attenuation is turned to 0 and 4 kilohertz bandwidth and this is uh, H05 well I'm not sure what is it. Um, if you turn off the radio, maybe the maybe the final thing, the uh, basic or the main mode of the radio, VHF and UHF mode, is very simple. You cannot transmit in single sideband as it is in the IJV firmware, but you can receive also the single sideband on the VHF and UHF. Of course, you can receive single sideband even on the airband. It's not necessary, but you can. The setting window is very similar to the original window when you purchase the radio. So you can see the settings over here. They are pretty 
similar. All right, guys, so this was the Kuangsheng UVK5 installed with the CEC051 firmware and very short introduction into this firmware, which is pretty good. If you have any questions, comments, please let me down into the video description. Hope to see you next time again, guys, and 73. Right Queen, is that Roger? Let's go off Indy Zero, we met X-ray November, I got you, that's down here, five, Niner.